Smells are also an important component of the rat's world. They're used to identify individuals, their sex, dominant status and estrus cycle. By now, the rats have also probably tuned in to a clan smell. A wild rat visiting the colony produces great excitement. This mixture of aggression and fascination isn't only because he looks different, his smell doesn't match that of the clan. The wild rat is also attracted by the smells emanating from the colony. One smell in particular can provide a frisson of excitement like no other, at least among the males, that of a female on heat. Unless mated, female rats come into estrus every five days or so. Estrus lasts a few hours and males are attentive to any development. In areas sparsely populated in the wild, males may travel over several kilometers to find females. In densely populated areas where food is abundant, like in farms or here, females are more easily available. But males have to compete, and the race to find the female is on, sometimes even before the sun has set. But the female doesn't make it easy. Moving around the colony, she invites the males to chase her and encourages competition. Soon, she has a cue following her. It's only when she stops to present her rump in lordosis that the first male in the queue can mate, whilst the others look on. A close examination reveals that her ears are vibrating. This is very sexy, at least for rats. After the male has copulated, he licks his genital area whilst the female moves on, followed by the rest of the horde. 